Peter, thanks so very much. Uh, please let's move on. Thank you very much, Esther. And the next speaker is uh, Balaj Neyman from University of Zagreb, and he's going to talk about promoter variants in the kind of CG uh, in patients with chronic pancreatitis. Thank you very much for the introduction, Andrea. Uh, dear audience, um, let me talk about the uh, promoter variants of the CTRC gene. And, but before uh, starting to talk about the CTRC, I always have to talk about a little bit uh, the tip about the trypsinogen uh, because they are kind of always uh, connected. So uh, as probably all of us uh, know, trypsinogen is a very unique uh, molecule because uh, uh, it can trigger its own activation, this mechanism called this autoactivation. And this is a key mechanism in the, uh, in the development of uh, uh, pancreatitis in almost every case. And luckily, this autoactivation uh, doesn't happen in a robust way inside the pancreas, pancreas, and there is actually two main reasons for that. One of that is enteropeptidase peptidase is not expressed in the pancreas, but is expressed in the duodenum where uh, trypsinogen can robustly activate the trypsin. The other thing is that uh, there are some inhibitory mechanisms inside the pancreas that can inhibit this uh, autoactivation process. And one part of this uh, inhibitory mechanisms uh, connected to the CTRC gene. And um, uh, CTRC is, is also produced by the SNR cells of the, of the uh, pancreas and can be activated by uh, even the small amount of active trypsin. And if active CTRC, um, so CTRC activates inside the pancreas, it has two main uh, catalytic effect. One of them is uh, the n terminus processing that actually triggers the trypsinogen activation, but which is way much smaller effect than the other one, which is the degradation of trypsinogen. So if uh, degradation of trypsinogen uh, happens within the pancreas, of course, it's an inhibitory mechanism of uh, early trypsinogen activation inside the pancreas. It's not hard to imagine that if there is uh, uh, any, um, uh, if there is any damage in the CTRC function happens, such as catalytic damage or a, a smaller amount of CTRC expressed uh, inside the pancreas, this degradation effect uh, can be lower and that can lead to uh, early trypsinogen activation. So uh, this, uh, this damaged uh, uh, expression of CTRC theoretically can be caused by mutations in the promoter region of CTRC. And if you look at the pancreatic, pancreas genetics at our, uh, database, uh, we can see that there is not much that we know about the promoter variants of the CTRC gene. There is actually uh, four variants that has been uh, published and none of them uh, proved to be uh, pathogenic uh, in terms of pancreatitis. And I also have to talk about the famous G60G mutation. And how is it connected to the promoter variants? Um, the G60G mutation is uh, a mutation in the exon 3 of the chimotrypsin C gene. This is a silent mutation, which means that no amino acid change in the CTRC uh, protein sequence, but which is sure, and uh, there are uh, so many um, publications that is already confirmed that uh, this uh, mutation is actually accumulating in patients with chronic pancreatitis. Uh, but the thing is, we don't know why it is accumulated uh, in, in patients. And one of the explanations can be that this mutation is not actually the pathogenic mutation. It can be linked, it can be connected to another variant in the promoter region, for instance, in the CTRC. And therefore, we have two aims with this project. One of them, we wanted to identify noble variants in the CTRC promoter <laughs> uh, region. And the other aim was uh, uh, to answer the question whether there is a link uh, between the pathogenic, non pathogenic G60G variant and uh, one of the promoter variants in the CTRC gene. Uh, Hungary and pancreatic study group has a large uh, cohort controls and patients also, and they used 400 controls for this study 
For the non-alcoholic chronic pancreatitis patients, we had 124 uh, patients. For the alcoholic chronic pancreatitis group, we have 168 uh, patients. None of the individuals were children, so all of them uh, were adult uh, uh, patients and also uh, controls as well. So what we found, we found uh, in the total of 14 uh, CTRC promoter variants in the Hungarian cohort, three of them which are highlighted in yellow are already known and known to be not pathogenic uh, uh, regarding pancreatitis. The others are not published yet. And uh, I highlighted this uh, minus 913 AG mutation um, uh, because we found some association uh, uh, regarding chronic pancreatitis, and I will uh, highlight this mutation in the next slides also. You will see why. Uh, so first, let's see the distribution of allele frequencies in all patients with chronic pancreatitis compared to controls. Um, actually, none of the promoter variants uh, were accumulated uh, uh, regarding allele frequencies in, in patient uh, group compared to the controls. And it's important to mention that, of course, the C180 CT uh, mutation, the G60G mutation, is, is accumulated and uh, basically uh, the similar uh, frequency as in other uh, uh, studies with Caucasian uh, patients. If we look at the non alcoholic chronic pancreatitis uh, group compared to the controls, we, we found the same thing. Except that this uh, promoter variant is, uh, was uh, the accumulation of that was almost significant in this group. And if you look at the alcoholic chronic <laughs> pancreatitis group, uh, we don't see uh, any uh, association again between the controls and patients. So uh, we went further and uh, uh, look at this question in a little different <laughs> way. We looked at the uh, distribution of uh, genotypes, and I just highlighted the three mo most frequent uh, genotypes we found in the CTRC promoter. And now we had some, we, we found some uh, association between patients and controls. So uh, here you can see the statistical uh, uh, counting. The upper line represents uh, the hypothesis of the dominant uh, uh, inheritance, which means that in heterozygous uh, status, the mutant allele has effect. So not only in homozygous state, and then the lower line um, at each uh, variant represents the uh, recessive, uh, uh, recessive uh, inheritance where only the uh, homozygous recessive uh, status causes um, effect uh, for pancreatitis, and we found an association in the re uh, recessive uh, uh, inheritance in case of this uh, C minus 913 AG uh, mutation. If we go further and just looking at the non-alcoholic group, uh, we found the same uh, association. Um, and if you look at the alcoholic chronic pancreatitis group, we also found the same association regarding this uh, particular mutation. So the question is, is it a real risk factor for chronic pancreatitis or not? And um, uh, to answer this question, we um, executed, uh, we, we did a, a haplotype analysis, but this is only preliminary data. So we found uh, actually eight different haplotypes uh, in uh, this non-alcoholic chronic pancreatitis cohort. And here you can see the uh, estimated distribution of them. So there are actually two uh, uh, different groups uh, of, uh, of the haplotypes. So one of them contains this particular uh, promoter variant. This is the majority, and this is actually con contained the, um, the, the um, the white type allele and the other part uh, does uh, contain this uh, uh, promoter variant. And uh, a small group of these uh, haplotypes also contain this uh, non pathogenic G60G uh, uh, variant. So we can say that uh, if there is a G60G variant present in the, in the haplotype, there is always also present the, the uh, uh, promoter variant. And if we look uh, at uh, uh, more close, then we can say that if, he, if, 
exclude uh, the distribution of this promoter variant. So we exclude the G60G variant from the from the uh, promoter variant that there is no accumulation of the chronic pancreatic participation, especially it seems that uh, it has some kind of protective effect, but we know it's, it's, it's not the case. Uh, and if we see it together uh, with uh, the, the G60G variant, it is clear that in non-alcoholic chronic pancreatitis group, uh, the, this uh, haplotypes uh, 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 represents in a higher frequency in the, in the patients group. And that is what causes the uh, positive association of this uh, promoter variant uh, regarding pancreatitis. So it means that this promoter variant uh, actually is not a real risk factor for chronic pancreatitis. So uh, to sum up our results, this promoter variant is accumulated in patients with chronic pancreatitis. And this is linked with the known pathogenic G60G variant, but the linkage is not 100%. And um, haplotypes that contain this promoter variant and but not contain these uh, G60G variants are not accumulated in non-alcoholic chronic pancreatitis patients. And based on our preliminary analysis, uh, promoter mutations of the CTRCD has no effect for the development of uh, chronic pancreatitis. Thank you very much uh, for your attention. Questions from the audience. Why do you call this preliminary? What's, what's well, because, because we are not done with the analysis. That's why. Actually, I just I just received this data from uh, uh, this week from 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 one of my students. So it's it's not completely done yet. I mean, but uh, for a non-alcoholic chronic pancreatitis, is almost completely done. So that's why I call it preliminary. But the conclusion seems to be very clear, right? That that yep, I hope <laughs> this is a this is a case where you can find an association which doesn't identify a, a new pathogenic variant, but it's actually linked to some known Pathogen. variation. That's right. That's not going to change, probably. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it won't be, yeah. <laughs>